Hey, what's going on everybody? This is D here with High Off Blue Hour. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at an easy way to remove an object uh, from your video clip in DaVinci Resolve without going into Fusion. We're just gonna do this all within uh, the edit page. And so uh, the example video we're gonna be using, this is just a clip of me placing a phone and a watch on a desk. And towards the end of the clip, we want to remove that watch from the video clip. Basically, right after I set the, I lay the watch down on the desk and pull my hand away, we wanna make that watch just kind of disappear. And because we only need the part of the clip that involves the watch laying there by itself, we're actually gonna make a cut right here. And then we're just gonna highlight the part of the clip on the right side of the cut because that's all we, really need to work with in this situation. So we're gonna be using a tool called the Patch Replacer. And so to access that, uh, you wanna go up here into Effects. Now, you know, my effects was already open, but you wanna open Effects and then you would go down to your Resolve Effects area and go into the Resolve Effects search bar here and start to type in Patch Replacer. It should just pop up. You grab it and drag it and drop it onto our clip here and then so in the inspector tab you have patch replacer and all of the kind of sliders and variables that you can change for it and then in the actual viewing screen you can see this kind of oval shaped mask area here that's kind of popped up here but you don't really see any on-screen controls and so if you want to see the on-screen controls for manipulating the patch replacer you want to open your open effects overlay area over here now for me i would just click it to turn it on because i've already been messing around with it so it's already kind of there and this is what it looks like but if somebody somebody else might have to actually just hit the drop down arrow and then scroll down to open effects overlay and select it uh, that way but either way you want your open effects overlay on if you want to see these actual controls and what these controls are this left this left area over here this left circle this is for our source and this right circle is for our target and what we what we would do is this right circle the target circle you would use this to cover the area that you want to remove and now this left circle the source circle you would use this to select the area that you want to use as the patch to replace the area that you have covered with your target circle all right so we want to remove this watch so what we're going to do is we're going to place our target circle over the watch and then we're going to come over here into our inspector tab there's this area right here with the drop down arrow called patch positions we want to hit that so that opens up and we're going to come down to target width and target height. We want to manipulate these to kind of increase the amount of area covered by our target circle because we want to get all of that watch covered up basically. So you can use these sliders to do that, but you can also click on the actual target circle on the screen, click and hold and move that around to kind of manually manipulate its actual position like that and then go back over here into the inspector tab and maybe make the width increase the width a little bit more increase the height just a little bit more to make sure things are covered and so now what we also want to do is go over here to our source circle and pick out an area to use as the source to use as the patch that's going to replace the area where the watch was and so ideally you want to pick an area that looks very similar to the area that is actually around the watch and where the watch actually was because you want things to look realistic so you want you know similar lighting and textures and all of that type of stuff to make things realistic so you want an area that's pretty close to the area that you're already kind of covering and so right here uh, this works decent enough this is uh yeah this will work right here i'm not going to try to make things perfect but this area will work right here if i turn open effects overlay off for a minute and you're going to want to do that you're going to want to turn it on and off to kind of sometimes you're going to want to see things without the guidelines on the screen so you can see things better 
Uh, so if I turn them off, you can kind of see like, you know, it works well enough, but we can refine this even more to make it look better. And so to do that, you'd come over here into the inspector area and you have things like fill in method. Now, right now that's in blend clone and I'm probably going to leave it there, but you do have the option to do something like blend mask something like that which in this case there's no reason to do that because it just wouldn't make sense this wouldn't make this doesn't blend well this the textures are completely off this looks way too smooth and all of those type of things so obviously this wouldn't work but in certain situations you might want blend mask we're gonna go with blend clone but what we will change is we're gonna come down here where it says replacement detail and we're gonna drag this down a little bit just a little bit and then we're going to come up down here where it says details and it says variability. We're going to bump the variability up just a little bit. And we're going to go about right there. Now that you also have like blur edges, you can increase that. All of these different variables you can manipulate to kind of refine things. I'm not, I'm not going to go too deep into that because I don't want to stretch the video out any longer. Um, we already have a pretty clean removal. Now, if you had just walked up to the computer screen just now and hadn't seen all of the stuff we did in the last two three four minutes or so you know you, you wouldn't really notice that a watch used to be right here and that's pretty much what we want to do right if we if were able to accomplish that we did a pretty good job um and so we got got our watch i lay the watch down pull the hand away the watch disappears and to make it a little bit maybe you want to make it fade away a little bit then you could just grab a grab a transition like a cross dissolve or something like that and bring that in so then it's kind of like I lay the watch down and then it fades away as I pull my hand away so now a few things I do want to say this method of removing an object from your video clip is really best for very simple situations meaning this clip right here you can see it's really just two objects on top of a pretty uniform plain background it's just a brown desk now the left side of the desk is a little bit darker has some you know blemishes and things like that and the right side is a lot a lot brighter and smoother so there it's not all the same but it's still a relatively simple backdrop where it's easy to find an area to use as a patch it's not a complicated background so a similar situation might be if you had some items uh laying in a field of grass or you know a, a big lawn or something like that to where you can remove the item and you have plenty of lawn to choose from to use as a patch replacement for the object you're removing so intricate backgrounds and things like that are going to make this difficult also I want to think it might go without saying but maybe it doesn't this is a stationary camera and the items that we removed or the item that we removed was stationary it wasn't moving around or anything like that so if you want to remove an item that's moving around you're gonna end up having to do some tracking you know, and all of those type of things and so that's you know something for another video but you want to be aware of that this is just a very specific situation where you would use um, the patch replacer in this way to remove to remove an object and there's plenty of other ways to remove objects as well this is just one of the more simple ways and this is one of the ways that doesn't involve using fusion so that is the patch replacer use it in the edit tab to easily remove an item or an object from your video that's the video thanks for watching